Hey guys, welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Another update on the Irem M92 core. Uh, amazing stuff by Martin Donlon at Wicker Wacker again. Uh, he's just provided another update. So we first got this core on Monday, or at least I got it on Monday. It may have been late Sunday night. I guess it depends on time zones. I got it on Monday. Then we got an update on Wednesday, which gave us access to Ninja Baseball Batman, as long as fixing the issues with Gun Force 2. Well, now in the latest update, we now have access to Lethal Thunder, the game that you're seeing on screen now. And this game is pretty badass, but I'll tell you what, it's also hard. So straight away from the get-go, I kind of like the mechanics. It's the first time I'm playing this. I've never played this game before, apart from when I uh, booted it up on my Mister. And that's always a nice surprise with the Mister. It's always nice to find new, old new games or new old games. I think it's old new games is that the right way of saying it i don't even know what i'm talking about but an old game out there that you've never played now you want to mash the button in this because uh, again i don't know too much about the game but based on my kind of initial gameplay of this you kind of smash the button and your power bar goes up which then kind of gives you like a little special move like your second button bomb or whatever it is that you use you want to smash that button all the time you want to keep that up so even when there's nothing on screen just keep mashing that button i'm not gonna lie here i used auto fire because i tried it and i was like you know what yeah, I want to make this video look good, so let me whack on auto fire. Uh, but if I play these shooters and like to whack the fire button quickly, I prefer doing it on an arcade stick. On this instance, I was actually playing with an 8 bit 2 RF controller, the PC Engine 1, or the Turbo Graphic 16, as known on the other side of the sea. Uh, now, good stuff about this game is a plenty it's difficult it is tough and the bullets they come fast i don't often go into dip switches but i went into the dips the dip switch for this game and i put it down to uh, uh, i put it down to easy and even that wasn't difficult at least for me i was finding the bullets were fast and uh, i'm not too bad at shooters but man like this is a tough one this is a coin guzzler if you can kind of get past the first level without dying then hey good to you um but let's have a look some of some of the other bosses as well like it's a fantastic game okay coming up to the second boss now now i think i kind of got out of this one easy because i ended up using my bomb and that just kind of wiped it out so this one wasn't as difficult as even like the first one uh, definitely easier than i expected it to be uh definitely didn't expect it to go there but hey man i ain't complaining uh, i got to level three because of that bomb okay approaching the third level boss now now one thing in this game is when you die and you don't have that crazy strong fire you have to build it up by mashing the button man there's a lot of stuff around and it's just it's hard to kind of bypass everything so what you end up doing is using the invincibility to try and build up your charge during that time and obviously i'm using auto fire here so i guess that's kind of cheating but let me know your thoughts like are you that good where you can see those bullets like neo in the matrix they're all slow but for me i had to hit i spent a little bit of money if i was in the arcade actually putting money in but i was in the comfort of my own home playing this enjoying this and man like it felt like i lost 20p uh, every time that continue screen popped up i did eventually beat the boss because hey i've got unlimited coins i can just press a button and another coin pops in and uh here we go i think i've nearly done it now come on come on pixel do it do it <laughs> i love like the effects on there look at this you know it's near its death when all that stuff's exploding so that was like the third level i kind of filmed it up until part of the fourth level but yeah i had a blast playing this but looking at the power-ups in this, I like this power-up that you're seeing on screen now. This reminds me of Gunhead or, or on the PC Engine or better known as Blazing Lasers on the Turbo Graphics 16. Really like this, like the way it bends and everything. But remember, you need to keep mashing that button or your power goes down. Here's another power-up that I really like as well. It's like some kind of like flame for I don't know, I've got a special thing for flame flowers. Flame flowers, flame flowers, flame throwers. Uh, now you've got a kind of straight flame thrower, and these are like flame little kind of bullets, or like a flame spread shot. But you get like a single layer of it going straight out as well. There's actually just like a full on flame thrower as well, which we'll have a look at next. But yeah, the power ups in this, they're good and they're big straight away. You don't need to get lots and lots of them. You just keep whacking that fire button and it gets bigger. 
So guys, this is another one that I really like. I don't know what it is with flamethrowers. I just think they're so cool. Look at look at that. You've got one big flamethrower and you've got like a like a flame kind of ring spiral thing going around it. Again, impressed with this. I love shmups. And the one thing I like about shmups is when you when you get power-ups, when you when you've got like a good power-ups in there you just feel powerful attacking uh, everything in there i didn't feel so powerful in this because well I, I got destroyed man it's only because i had as many credits as i could use that i progressed to where i got but in regard to the update that came out today martin said um that this update gets lethal thunder working which we're looking at here now also pauses working three to four players and fixed sample timing um so yeah excellent work man martin he's like the terminator or something a guy just doesn't slow down you get a core two days later you get more compatibility and a day later you get even more compatibility so at this rate if it was released monday two days later wednesday an update then thursday it seems to be halving so i don't know if later on tonight we're going to get it but i'm just looking at patterns here so guys that's really it for this video uh, another thing before i go i did test out mystic riders to see if uh those invisible kind of bullets that were hitting me uh were actually resolved they're not now so you're still getting hit by invisible artifacts uh in the game so that's still there but i'm sure this is going to get updated so quick quickly so special thank you out to martin honestly like this is such an amazing core and this in a, it, this is an amazing game i'm just not good enough to play this effectively but i am good enough to keep putting in credits keep continuing and eventually seeing the end screen at a higher cost of like i don't know maybe 20 25 english pounds if i was to spend real money but that's really it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then a subscription and a like is super appreciated i'll see you guys around this is pixel cherry ninja out